Hey guys, it's Derry, Cine Witch Carpenter here for the ah, Rainbow Witch's Colorful Cottage. Sorry, it's been a busy, busy, busy couple of days and I'm just kind of coming down. Um, I am here to do the Getting to Know You tag um, from Divination. And here we go. It is a simple little 11 question tag. So, Question number one is, what is your favorite time of year? Autumn. It is, for me, where I live, autumn is kind of perfect because you get, there are days that it's not too hot, but it's not too cold. You get the, you get the colorful leaves, you get the crunch of the leaves when they're falling, you get to leaf jump, you know, plus fall is my birthday month, um, October's my birthday month. You've got Samhain, um, just just fall in general. Mm, excuse me, fall in general is my favorite time of year. Um, describe my perfect home. My perfect home would probably be the one that I grew up in. Um, it was a three-story Victorian. Um, and it was just so filled. You could... It was just so filled with love and memories and, and just, I mean, the love was palpable. You could feel it when you walked in the door. You could feel it when you set foot on the grounds. You know, that's, that's kind of, you know, and I miss it. I miss that. I miss that so much. Um, yeah, but we had all the land, so I used to, you know, that's where I started my my journey into this, into Christian witchcraft. I mean, you know, I mean, I played outside and I played with the Fae and I, oh, pardon me, I played with the Fae and I played in the woods and I climbed trees and I read books and coffee. Um, I built, you know, I built my doll houses. I had picnics out in the woods with my dolls and to play dress up and I got dirty and you know it was just that was you know and then I would come in and I would you know go play dress up in granny's closet and I would have tea parties with my grandmother and you know I would cook meals and I would help her cook and bake and you know not knowing that what I was learning was witchcraft not learning that you know not knowing at that time um Question number three, if you couldn't be a witch anymore, which religion or faith would you choose? Christianity, because I am a Christian witch. Um, but um, I just, I, that's what I love about my, my walk with Christ, is the fact that it is nature-based. It is based in nature. Yes, it's Bible, but it's, it's still based in nature. Um, so... Number four, what is the most creative thing about you? <laughs> I don't know. Um, that I love color and that I surround myself with color, I guess. Um, I am a witch. I'm a wife. I'm a mom. Um, I'm an artist. Um, I love to color, color book pages and coloring pages and... Um, I was born and raised in the theater and, you know, um, I don't really quite know what the most creative thing about. I'll leave that up to you guys to answer. I have no idea. Um, um, question number five, describe something that scares me. Um, losing my loved ones. I can't really say, well, yeah, I guess I can say death, just death in general, but it's learning to survive without the loved ones. Like, I lost my dad last year. I lost my mom 14 years ago. I lost my grandmother 35 years ago. Um, or 30 years ago. So, um, but it's learning to live without them. It's learning to survive without them. Um, that's, that scares me. That's, that's a very big struggle for me. Um, 
Plus, being just being scared. I don't like it. It is not... For me, it is not a fun emotion. Being scared is my least favorite emotion. I don't want to feel it. I don't want to, you know, I don't, I'm not one for horror movies and scary movies and stuff. I just, I don't like being scared. Being scared is one of my least favorite emotions. I just, I'm like, so number six, who is my hero? Oh, I have many. I have many. And right now I'm going to tell you two. Um, my mother and I had a very tempestuous relationship with me growing up. But that woman and my grandmother are two of my heroes. They really are. Um, and I got my sass, I got my tenacity, I got my strength from those two women. Um, the reason they're my heroes is because they overcame a lot. They overcame a lot of, you know, my grandmother was a single mom of three children back in the, in the, 20s, 30s, and I think back in the 30s, you know, and she had to raise these three kids by herself. So she just said, okay, I'm going to change my name. And she dropped her first name, which was Mary, and she went by Graham Gloucester Bird. And she went off to MGM. And she got a job as a costume designer. And then she, you know, did that for a couple of years, and then she wanted to settle down and, you know, just have a more stable environment for her children. So she came to this little town called Meadville, Pennsylvania and became a costume designer for the local college, Allegheny College. And then she became a drama professor. You know, um, she lost her husband over the, he was a, my grandfather was a pilot for the Royal Canadian Air Force and he was lost over the English Channel and she she was left alone with three children to raise. She had two boys and a daughter to raise. You know, um and then you know, I I say she raised me because my mom and I as I said my mom and dad and I had a very tempestuous relationship growing up and granny had to raise me while well, granny was raising me while I was taking care of her because she was dying of emphysema and my mother passed away of COPD. My mom's and my relationship didn't really heal until I became a mother and she passed away when my when my now 16 year old was two. So we only had two real good years to, you know, and, and she was very ill at that time. And I was, she was here in Pennsylvania and I was in North Carolina. So I did not get to spend a lot of time with her, but I was very blessed in the fact that I did get to spend some very good quality time with her at the end. I got to spend that last week with her and, um, she got to, you know, she didn't really know who any of us were. She didn't know who my son was or my husband was or, you know, she didn't know who any of them. But that was, that was a, a gift that I will never forget. Um, number seven is tell us about an animal you love or have loved with all your heart. Um, all of my animals, all of my, all of my pets. Um, speaking of that, I have to get her pillow back out. <laughs> That's my cat's pillow. Um, or my familiar's pillow. Um, I grew up with a, two Siamese cats, one was Action and one was Critter, and Critter was as old as I was. Critter passed away about a week Sorry. before I went to college, and the week that I went away to college, the week, but the month before I went away to college, we lost Critter. And we lost one of the golden retrievers. Um, yeah, that was really hard. We lost all three of my two dogs. We had a mutt named Mandy, Amanda Panda, because she was black and white. And then we had Critter, who was a Siamese cat. And we had ben, or Bo, who was a golden retriever. And Bo was hysterical. Bo was just, I love golden retrievers because they're puppies. All, they never they never outgrow the puppyhood um, but that's what I loved about we lost no when strike that we lost Mandy 
Mandy passed. We had to put Mandy down, and then we had to put Critter down. Um, and when I went away to college, poor Bo wouldn't, he was a golden retriever. He loved going in the car. He loved going in the car. And the whole year that I was away at college, my freshman year, he would not get in that car because he was convinced, okay, somebody's going to get in that car and they're not going to come home. Because Mandy went in the car and never came home. Critter went in the car, never came home. I went in the car and I went away to college. So I didn't come home. So he was like, I'm not getting in the car. No way. You know, the only time we could get him in the car is if I was home on vacation. Um, but Bo and my dad's dog, Ben, who's another golden retriever, are ones that I loved. And then Critter and Action and my little black familiar, Furry, who uh, she's not in here right now. Um, for Miney. Um, <laughs> number eight is, do you believe in soulmates? I do. My parents were soulmates. My parents were married for 40 years before my mom passed away. And that was part of the reason that our relationship was so tempestuous growing up was because they were like this. They could not see beyond each other. They really could not see beyond each other. And my husband's, my husband now, my second husband, his first wife was his soulmate. And um, she passed away in 2014 of epilepsy. Um, but yes, I do believe in soulmates and you don't, I don't think you have to be a couple to be soulmates. I really don't. You can be, I think you can be soulmates with friends. I think you can be soulmates with a stranger. I just, you know, hell, you could even probably be a soulmate with an animal. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that works. I don't, you know, and I don't judge it. I mean, it works how it works. Uh, number nine, would you rather create art or view art? Both. Both. I create art and I love to look at the art that is surrounding my room. Let me give you a quick look. Um, all of this was mostly gifted to me. That one in the middle I made. Um, all of those were gifts. Um, I've got all of those were gifts. Yeah, I, I create art, and I, um, I love to look at art, going to museums, and, but that's, again, the way I was raised. I was raised to be, I was raised around jazz music, I was raised around classical music, my parents belonged to a classical jazz, classical and jazz society where they did the lights for the concerts, so I was always going to those, I was raised in the theater, so I was always around plays and musicals and this and that and then I was you know raised going to museums and listening to you know going to the ballet and going to you know that's just so I love art just any any form of art music art dance live theater live music it's all just I love it I love it um describe my favorite part of my body I don't know if I have one I don't know if I have one. Um, I think one of the most unusual parts of my body, which I get a lot of, um, I get two, I get two compliment, not compl compliments, but comments on, is this lump right here. You can see that. That is actually part of my skull. No, it does not hurt. It's just some something that the way I was in the womb, I don't know what happened. It doesn't hurt. It's not, it doesn't bother me. And then my pinky. There are two knuckles right here instead of one. And they figured out that when I was in the womb, it, I sat on it or it just formed. Yeah, I, I don't know. We're not really sure. And the doctors told me that if I ever wanted to get fixed, I could not get it fixed. They would probably have to amputate it. So I was like, no. No, you're not, you're not amputating it. No. Um, and number 11, take a deep breath. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Both. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, I don't know. I just, you know, um, I don't know. I guess I'll say the chicken. So, alrighty. 
Thanks, Divination, Divination, for doing this tag, and I hope that you like this, and I hope everybody else does the tag, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye, guys.